In the summer of 1961, a young researcher from New Jersey named Asumu Shimomura drove 3,000 miles across America. It wasn't for a Disneyland holiday or a California beach vacation. He made the journey to collect thousands of jellyfish. Shimomura wasn't driven by money or fame or even changing the world. He had a passionate curiosity about jellyfish. He wanted to know why some of them glowed. After many years, he finally discovered a protein that lit up the jellyfish and called it Green Fluorescent Protein, or GFP. But as it is with most discoveries, the immediate uses weren't obvious. Decades passed, and no one knew what to do with GFP. Then on April 25th, 1989, the seeds to an unthinkable but revolutionary idea began when a young biologist in New York named Martin Chalfie heard about GFP for the first time. Can GFP make cells glow in any organism, he wondered. He rushed back to his lab and eventually was able to make the entire nervous system of a worm glow using GFP, tracking real-time biological processes like cell division. This discovery was revolutionary. The hidden spread of diseases can now be lit up allowing scientists to track cancer, Parkinson's, HIV, the list goes on. GFP is even being used to help detect buried landmines. In 2008, Osama Shimomura and Martin Chalfie were awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Who would ever have thought such a discovery for humanity would come from studying jellyfish and worms? But that's exactly how the world changes. Not through people pursuing safe, conventional ideas, but through exploring the seemingly crazy ones. Today, however, support for young researchers has collapsed. We need to find a new home for those brilliant, young, curious minds to push the boundaries of human knowledge. We are that new home. Join us at thinkable.org and be part of the next generation of world-changing ideas.